lovely unicorns. So today I am doing a DIY fall goddess crown. This will be great for cosplays or photo shoots or just for fun. And I really hope you guys will enjoy this DIY. So here are the things you will need. You will need some leaves. I just picked mine up at Hobby Lobby and they're pretty cheap since they're not in season right now so grab a bunch. You will also need floral wire. You can also use you know 18 gauge wire whatever you have. You will also need a glue gun and glue sticks. And some embellishments. I got these little flat back pearls that will go perfect. And I'm just starting off with the wire and I'm twisting two pieces around just so it's a little bit more sturdy. And I did that to both pieces. And then I am going to be putting the two wires together to fit my head because I have a really large head. So Fix the wires to fit your head shape. And I'm just using some needle nose pliers to make sure there's no sharp edges. Because you don't want to poke yourself in the head with wire. That hurts. Trust me. I know. <laughs> and then I am just, I measured my head and then I'm wrapping the wire around. And making sure it's nice and smooth. And I'm just taking my wire cutters and cutting a bit and making sure it doesn't, again, poke me in the head and it fits properly. Now I'm taking the leaves and I'm just taking them off the stems. They should be pretty easy to do. And I'll start gluing the leaves around the edge of the wire. Now be careful because hot glue burns. Um, I'm pretty used to getting hot glue gun burns because I use a hot glue gun pretty much on a daily basis. But if you are not, wear some protective gloves or something to protect your hands because you don't want to be numb to the heat like I am. <laughs> And I'm just overlapping each leaf so that it has a little bit more of an organic look instead of kind of man-made. And definitely have something to work on, like a work surface, so you're not gluing yourself to the floor. And I'm making sure to glue the edges of the leaf together as well so they don't flare up and act weird and stuff. And I'm trying my best to kind of reshape the leaves to give them a natural look. And there's Jinx because he decided to be in the video. 
So after I finish the first layer, I'm going to go ahead with a second layer and add them up above the top. So that way it's very textured and there's a lot of depth. And you probably don't even care about the crown because you're too busy looking at the cat. Trust me, I know. <laughs> but yeah, he decided to be my helper for that day. So, yeah, now what can you do? And you can add as many layers and as much depth as you want. It's completely up to you. And I decided to f get these little gold leaves and kind of put them in towards the front to give it a more goddessy look. You can add these. You don't have to. You can add other things inside of the leaves. Whatever uh, makes you happy. You can add it in. I just thought it would give a nice little glimmer and kind of tie everything together with the pearls. I'm just kind of tucking them into the leaves and trimming them to kind of fit and just feeling my way around it and seeing what I like and what I don't like because it's completely up to you how you want to create it and make it custom for you. And you can obviously tell I keep burning myself because the fabric of the leaves are very thin. So again, please be careful with the hot glue gun. <laughs> now I'm taking the little flat back pearls and I'm just going to place them wherever I feel that I want them. Um, I'm going to mainly focus them in the front just because if I have my hair down or something over it, they're not really going to show. Um, and I did kind of a pyramid shape with them. And you can add rhinestones. You can add the pearls. You can really, you know, do what you want with these. The possibilities are endless. And now I'm taking a necklace that is broken and I just used a little mannequin head and I'm going to add a little chain to the necklace, I mean to the crown. And I'm just taking the necklace and I'm going to glue it on the inside of the crown so that way it's the edges are hidden. And... This was completely off the wall. I didn't even like intend to do it, but I thought it would be really cute to add kind of a dangling charm and give it more of a goddess effect. So I'm just gluing that on the front and I'm being as careful as possible because wire plus hot glue is no fun. And like I said, you can add chains if you want. Um, I was going to add some tool, but it just didn't seem right, so I didn't add that. But whatever you want to create and want to add to your crown, go ahead and add it because this is your crown and you're going to make it awesome. And I burned myself. <laughs> And as you see, the chain has like a little peak and I'm going to wait for the glue to dry completely before I completely glue down the other sides. And you can use just pieces that you have around the house and make the crown your own. And that is the finished crown. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and DIY. And I hope you guys will subscribe if you have not. 
Don't forget to hit that little bell below so you can be notified of every upload and you will never miss out another Majestic video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. I love you guys so much. Thank you. Bye.